Oh, well. One more little electronics thing. Let's see if this little Rank Arena portable TV will work. Hey! It's down. Yeah, it looks alright. It hasn't gone funny colours. I've got the rabbit ears plugged in, but I don't, don't expect to get anything on it. Well, this thing just needs a good antenna and a clean-up. It should be fine. Can't get a good signal now. The best of the analog signals is pretty much discontinued now, so... These old analog TVs are pretty much well, obsolete. But it's not doing anything strange. Hmm. And so it's pretty good. Gotta clean all the cobwebs and crap off it and that'll be alright. Okay, well the little Philips portable looks alright. Doesn't have too much dirt in it. The tube and everything's actually made by Sharp. So it's pretty much a, c a compact, sharp television. So it has had water in it, but it's well and truly dry now, so I'll just try it out. Not much I can do apart from uh, give it a run and see what it does. Unfortunately, it doesn't have one of the nice big green triplers on the high voltage side like the old Phillips do. If it was bad, I'd have a nice tripler to play with. But I've pretty much given away most of the old triplers and doublers. Sharps tend, tend to use doublers and Phillips use the green rectangular triplers. Too bad. Hasn't gone pop anyway. <laughs> Try again. The volume slides a bit dirty, but seems alright. Seven, nine. Trouble is you don't get any reception inside this tin box. But there is a picture there. It'll come good when I get some good TV reception. <laughs> Colour. Oh, bloody hell, it's who wants to be a millionaire. Jesus. Yeah, that just needs a good signal. Ten. UHF. SBS. <laughs> I don't get much else, but I still get SBS. Uh, your heart was about to explode before you... Yeah, why don't you give me $50,000, you wanker. That'll be alright. Again, I've got to get a proper antenna on this workshop. <laughs> Even though analog signal's going out of fashion, I might as well do it. Probably. And clean this volume slider. Great, right. Off it, off it, off Better contact cleaner does that. Cool, they both work. I guess they threw them out just because they were too old. The usual story with old televisions. Oh well, that'll do for today. Stay tuned for a uh, microwave video. Oh, yes. oh, as soon as I take it out of the garage, everything's fine. The Sea Lion survived by eating the leftovers of the various film crews that plague the continent. <laughs> I know it's probably copyrighted material, but I'm using it for testing purposes only. I did, they did have a perfect picture, it's just kind of a fuzzy. Got a big storm system heading in at the moment. This tank is for our Pacific habitat. Time for a bit of random electronic fun. This ugly looking boombox, TAC 
see that the MP3 player has completely lost the laser. I mean, there's no beam whatsoever. It's not a loose connection. Uh, all I can figure is it's just a dead driver or a dead laser. It does try to focus the laser, but there's no beam whatsoever. Just nothing. So, I'm going to try and fix it once and for all. Don't stink the microwave too much. <laughs> yeah, it was just burning internally, that's all. <laughs> the longer you leave it, the worse it gets. I'm going to cover the camera up because it's spitting with rain out here. I've got 14 minutes of film left. Holy crap! I thought I heard capacitors cooking off. Okay, now how the hell do I put this out? Without wasting the fire extinguisher on it. Ah, who cares? Only old Gore can smell it. <laughs> Always the right rain to put it out. Actually that smoke's going towards a residential area. Better do something.